Hello Starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel where we're bringing a little bit of glamour to everyday life. Today we are talking about lip plumping masks. They are these cute little masks that have been trending all over the internet. People have been posting Instagram and Snapchat photos. They usually look like a nice little kiss print here and they're supposed to make your lips plump and full and luscious. So I decided to try out four different ones. I did it vlog style, so you will see me applying it. You'll see it like before, after, and then I'll show you a little update as to how it looks once I put my makeup on. I have four of them, did it for four different days. So if you wanna see if these little lip plumping masks are worth the hype and which ones work and which ones don't, then be sure to stay tuned until the end for my final review. Okay, so today's lip mask is the KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. It conditions, moisturizes, plumps, hydrates, all natural, no parabens, no sulfates, no artificial dyes or fragrances, no animal testing. Apply to clean lips for 15 to 20 minutes, use two to three times a week. So you get a few in the package, I don't remember how many, but I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes is an awful long time. This is my lips before, comes out and it's this like, it's kind of like a sheet mask for your lips, I guess. Smells interesting. Mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it's staying on very well. There's a hole in there so you can breathe. Well, I'll try it and then I will check in with you and let you know. I look kind of ridiculous. So I had it on upside down. That's why I was having such a problem staying on. I know you can't hear me. I'm like, look, I on your father. But yeah, it's a little bit better now that I need to stop talking. Okay, it's only about 15 to 20 minutes, and it's time to remove. Although, this did not stay stuck on my lips very well. My lips do look fuller. I don't think it's dramatic. They d it definitely tingled, but this kept slipping off, and I know I had it on backwards initially, and I don't know, there's this little, like, air hole, but I kept feeling like the air hole was getting, like, right in the center of my, and I'm like, this is where you want it to be plump, obviously. Not terrible, but and not ideal, but again, first one. I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll check in with you once I put my makeup and lipstick on and just let you know if I notice anything. And I just put on, I'm testing lip liner, so this is just a lip liner right now, but it's very creamy, kind of like a lipstick. And looking at my lips, I'm knocking stuff over here. Honestly, I don't think that they're more any more plump than they would be if I had just used a lip plumper. It was a little frustrating to stay on, tingled, but it didn't hurt or anything. So I don't know, I'm excited to see how the rest of them work for comparison. Didn't hate this one, but I, I wanna see if maybe there's something better. Okay, so today's lip plumping mask is the Skin, 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 I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that. Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Plumping Lip Gel with Wild Berry Extract. And this comes in a pack of two, and this is one of them. Helps smooth and plumps in minutes. It's free of parabens, PEGs, mineral oil, chemical sulfates, phoholates, I'm not sure how you say that, synthetic fragrance, and dye 100% vegan. Dermatologist tested for sensitive skin. I'm actually gonna try this one before I put like my moisturizer on and stuff because I don't know if that's the reason why yesterday's mask didn't stay on was because I already had my moisturizer on. I tried not to put it too close to my lips but you never know so i'm gonna try this before i moisturize my face but my skin is freshly cleansed comes in a little packet that you rip open this one only goes for 10 minutes whereas the other one yesterday was 15 to 20 and it again comes in a similar plastic thing here i'm not exactly sure how you okay I guess you separate this here and there's a plastic thingy but you can put it down on either side you set it down on your lips Okay, it has been 10 minutes. You really cannot talk with this thing on. And my lips, they look a little fuller. I don't think it's like ridiculous, but I do think it looks a little bit fuller. They said there would be a slight cooling sensation, and I will say that was true, but not bad. Like, and then maybe I'm just numb from all the lip plumpers I've been using, but it, like you felt it, but it didn't, it wasn't painful or anything like that. I don't know if it's because I used moisturizer yesterday even though I tried not to get it on my lips but this one stayed on much better like I didn't feel like it was falling off all the time the edges sometimes felt like they were falling off a little bit but this stayed on much much better I mean they feel nice I'm gonna actually put on the rest of my makeup and I will check back in with you after I get my makeup on just to kind of see how they look with 
lip product on. Okay, so I just did my makeup and I'm gonna check in here with my lips. I think they look full. I don't know if I'm like, if it's dramatic. I don't know if it's even as much as like, say, you know, when I use my lip plumpers. But they look good. So far I like this mask. I'm just not sure if it's worth it yet. I don't know. I still have a couple more to test though. So we'll see how they go. Okay, so today's lip plumping mask is the Nevea, I believe is how you say it. Collagen Gold Lip Mask. And it comes with five. The one downside I will say right away of these is they each come in individual packets. And with the other ones that I tried, the directions were summarized on the back. And this one has nothing. So you better not lose this little card that comes with it. Basically it says creates full lip appearance, reduces fine lines, wrinkles, increases, hydrates and softens, firm skin above and below lip area, treats dry and chapped lips, moisturizes above and below lips, reducing signs of aging, rejuvenates the lips. How to use. All right, here's, <laughs> there's typos in the directions. And I don't, I don't know, I'm not perfect. I'm not the grammar police, but I feel like you're selling a product like you didn't have anybody proofread it. I don't know. Anyway, cleanse facilia. I'm assuming that means facial area thoroughly and dry. Open package peel off liner for best results. Use patch immediately after opening the foil. Apply lip patch on lips, pressing gently, making sure there is good skin contact. Wear lip mask for about 30 minutes or while you sleep at no more than 12 hours. Remove lip mask gently. Do not reuse lip mask. I'm going to open this up and I probably won't be able to talk to you right away after this so after i put this on i'm gonna check back in with you in about 30 minutes and let you know okay i'm taking the plastic out and the foil is still in here this one i think is the messiest one so far it's slimy I'm back. Take a look at my lips. There's still like a shiny serum on there, so they're glossier. No, they a little fuller. Yeah, I guess they are. I guess they are fuller. It's hard to tell when I see the playback. This stayed on better than any of the others so far. My cheeks are getting kind of red because I haven't put moisturizer on, so I'm going to put on my makeup and then I will check back in after I have my lip stuff on and just kind of see how they look, how the lipstick applied. Okay, so I have my lip color on. I'm testing lip liners still, so I, this is just lip liner. Um, different one than yesterday though. I think my lips look full. I don't know if I think they look that much fuller than they normally do. And I think that they look even fuller when I use a lip plumper. Maybe that's just my imagination, but. I mean, they felt fuller, I feel like, with today's lip mask than they did with the last two days. Like when I first took it off, but I don't really know if I'm seeing it. Uh, maybe when I go back and look at the footage, I'll notice a dramatic difference, but not overwhelmed so far with lip masks. But I have one more to go, so we'll see how tomorrow goes. Okay, so today is my final lip mask day, and this one I think is the one that I saw that Lady Gaga was using. Could be wrong. It is the Tony Moly. Tony Moly. Tony Tony Moly. Tony Moly. Tony Moly. Kiss Kiss Lovely Lip Patch. It's got a lot of information on here in other languages. I bought this in a pack of five. And all right, so a lot of the stuff on here is in another language. There's cute little chickadee I'm assuming okay but the directions all right most of it's in another language but it says this patch makes your lips smooth soft and kissable directions tear open and apply to lip leave on for 15 to 20 minutes and then remove I'm gonna pop this on and then leave it on for you know 15 to 20 and as soon as I put this on I probably will not be able to talk to you so this actually like rips open obviously a lot of serum stuff in here Okay, so it has been 20 minutes. I think my lips looked a little plumper yesterday. Maybe a little fuller, but one thing I will say about this, <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> don't sneeze while you're using these, because I had to sneeze 
and I, I held it on but it was gross not good for allergy season this one is actually I feel like a thicker gel than some of the others so I had a really hard time with it staying on and it felt like it kept slipping so I mean it did stay on I didn't have to hold it the whole time but it didn't stay on all that well and I'm not thinking that it did much and my lips feel a little drier with this one like after using it than I did with some of the others so I don't know but I'm gonna check back in after I do my lips and stuff and see how it looks after I do my lipstick okay guys so I put on a this is actually lip liner again because I'm still testing lip liners get in focus here and my lips look good they feel good I don't know if they look any plumper. I don't even think they look as plump as they would if I was using like an actual like lip plumper product. So I don't really know if it was worth sitting there with the gel on my face for 20 minutes. I don't know, but I'm gonna actually review all the videos and I'm gonna try to give you my rating top to bottom. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and those were all my lip plumping masks. Now for my final review, the big question, are these worth the hype? I actually don't think they are. To be totally honest, if I think a beauty product is gonna make your life better, even a little bit, I would totally encourage it. I have a whole review on lip plumpers. I'll actually link that to this video. I actually think those are a lot more effective. Now, not everybody can use those because they are, well, they usually work by using some kind of allergen or irritant that actually puffs up your lips. Different ones for different brands. These lip plumping masks are not like that in the sense that they are really just meant to hydrate and plump. And to be totally honest, using a really good like lip moisturizer is probably going to be more effective and it's probably going to be more cost efficient. I can't really say if these work over time because, you know, like if you use them regularly because I didn't use them regularly after this. I only used each one of them once. You know, if you use them once a week, I don't see that really making a huge difference only once a week. And to use them every day, they're time consuming. You can't talk while they're on. You're going to blow through them really quickly. So to be honest, I don't think that lip plumping masks are worth your money. Uh, I do want to add a new little segment to this like makeup review series that I've been doing and it's basically like the A-list and the D-list so I want to pick the products that I think are the best for the A-list and the products that I think are the worst for the D-list. While I don't really think that any of these products are really worth your money, I think getting a good lip moisturizer, which I'm thinking about testing those thumbs up if you want me to test lip moisturizers, but I think a good lip moisturizer and a good lip plumper combined will get you better effects and be more cost efficient. But if I was going to give you my A-list and D-list, I would have to say of the ones that I tested, the D-list would be the KNC Beauty simply because it just didn't stay on. I know I didn't start out using it right and it was the first one I tried. I will give it that, but I just, I really don't think it stayed on. I, I just, I don't think it did anything this is probably my least favorite of the bunch. The one that I thought was probably the best of all the lip masks was the, I believe you call it, you pronounce it the Nevea, which was the gold collagen. I thought that one, if anything, plumped a little bit. So if you really, really dead set on trying these, this would be the one I think I got on Amazon. Um, I will link all of these below, but at the end of the day, I don't really think that these lip plumping masks are really worth your money. Good lip moisturizer, great lip plumper, gonna take you way farther than any of these lip masks. But are they cute? Are they fun to like post Instagram and Snapchat photos with them on? Sure. At the end of the day, are they really that effective? I don't think so. Maybe they'll get better. I mean, they are a new trend, so maybe they will get more effective over time. But for right now, not worth your money. So if you've tried any of these lip plumping masks or any other ones that I didn't come across in my search and that you do love or that you hate or anything, I want to hear from you. Leave them in the comment section below. If you have any other products that you would like me to test and review, either types of products or individual products, please let me know. I love your recommendations. Leave them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was actually suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup saved my life. And I truly believe that it can save yours too. So if you want to join my Starlet Squad, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You you can follow me on all my social media channels. They'll all be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.